Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding find interview candidates and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium and this question has been asked in Amazon interviews over the past couple of years a number of times, right? So let's jump right in. We are given a table called contests with four different columns. Contest ID, gold medal, silver medal, bronze medal. Contest ID is the primary key for this table. This table contains the lead code contest ID and the user IDs of the gold, silver and bronze medalists. It is guaranteed that any consecutive contest have the consecutive IDs and that no ID is skipped. Now we are also given a second table called users with three different columns, user ID, mail and name. User ID is the primary key for this table. This table contains information about the users. Okay. We are asked to write a SQL query to report the name and mail of all interview candidates. And how do we identify an interview candidate? A user is an interview candidate if at least one of these two conditions is true. The user won any medal in three or more consecutive contests. The user won the gold medal in three or more different contests, not necessarily consecutive, right? The order of the result does not matter, right? So basically, if any of these two conditions satisfy, then it is a interview candidate. And for those candidates, we need to return their name and mail, right? Let's go through this example, right? So you have basically five different users, right? And these are different contests challenge, right? And and these are the gold medal winners, silver medal winners and bronze medal winners, right? So basically user ID one in contest ID 190 won gold medal, user ID five won silver medal, user ID two won bronze medal, right? And similarly for all this. Now we need to find out that either there is a user that has won three or more gold medals and like it can be in any of the contests, right? or the user won any of these medals in three or more consecutive contests. So the, you know, the, this condition, right? So gold medal, three or more different contests, right? So if you look at it, user ID one, so the user ID one won the gold medal in contest ID 190, 193 and 196. So three, right? So it should be in the output. Similarly, if you look at for all other different users, you can find it, right? So that should be in the output. So since user ID one was going to be present in the output, the so user ID one belongs to Sarah and their mail, right? Similarly for others, since this entire information is present in a condensed form, what we should do is firstly, we should get this information in a long form. So basically what we should do is we should try that. Okay. These, this is the, you know, user ID and this is the contest on which, you know, the person won gold medal, bronze medal, silver medal, etc. So what we can do is we can use the union function, right? So first we can see that what are the user IDs that won the gold medal and then unit it with what are the you know users who won silver medal and the, their contest IDs and then union it with what are the users that won bronze medal and their contest ID. So what we can do is from this table called contests, right? From this table called contest, we can return, right? So return the gold medal column, right? Gold medal column and let's alias this as user or something like this, you know, so that, you know, you know that it is the user value, right? So gold medal as user and you can return the contest ID, right? So let me run this. Let's, let's see what we are getting, right? So basically if you look at it, right? So in the output, what we have, we have basically for all the, so this is the user and the contest ID one, right? Similarly, user two contest ID one, nine, one, five, one, nine, two. Similarly, you have this, right? Then what we can do is we can get the same list and union this below this, right? So what we can do is we can do same stuff, right? For silver as well as bronze, right? So let me just copy it here, right? Again, copy it here, right? And instead of gold, it should be silver, right? Silver medal and here it should be bronze medal, right? And let's union this, right? So union and then again, union, right? Uh, let me run this. Let's see what we are getting, right? So if we look at it now, that okay so this started with this and 1 and 196 it will end right so for gold medals so 1 and 196 after this started with 5 and 190 that is for silver medal and similarly for bronze medal so now we have all the different you know users and the contest on which they won 
right so what we can do is we can store this in a common table expression so with cte as and this entire thing goes into parentheses right so goes into parentheses now since this entire information is basically all the users and the contest id they won right so now we can for each of the users we can arrange their contest id in ascending order and then rank it right because we need to deal with consecutives here right so we need to know whether you know the person so right now all we have is this user won contest id 190 right gold medal silver medal bronze medal does not matter right so now you have every user and the contest id they won and now we need to get that whether they are consecutive or not so what we can do is we can use the ranking function right so we can use that okay for each of the user ordered by the contest id what is the ranks that they have right so what i'm saying is from this common table expression right let's keep both the columns right so select star and then use row number right so we can use row number to basically rank right so row number and then use over clause because this is a window function so over and then we write partition by user right because we need for each user and then order by contest id in ascending manner right and let's alias this as rank okay uh wait let me just run this let's see what we are getting right so if we look at it right uh so now you have for each of the users right so user id one so these are the different contest that the person won right and we assign the rank one two three four how this is going to help us so just by looking at it right don't apply any math just by looking at it user id one one four different medals right but if you look at it they were not one in con three or more consecutive contests right so 190 then 193 then 195 then 196 right so user id one should not be in the output from this case right so user id one does not satisfy this condition right the user id one satisfies this condition which will come later right we are not focused on this right now we are focused on user who won any medal in three or more consecutive contests and user id one was not among them if you look at user id two right so 190 91 92 right so yes it is present right again if you look at it 94 95 96 again you know in three different contest the user id one right so user id two should be in the output user id three 91 92 93 yes it should be in the output user id four there are only two right so it should not be in the output user id 5 90 91 92 93 94 right so five consecutive contests right so these should be in the output now how can this help us to identify whether it was consecutive or not right so rank increased from 1 to 2 however the contest id value increased from 190 to 193 so obviously it is not consecutive right for consecutive the difference it should be 1 always right 193 to 195 the rank increased by one but the contest id increased by two right so obviously this means that this is not consecutive however if you look at this one right so 190 to 191 and it increased from one to two from 191 to 192 it increased from two to three right so if you see that here you have consecutives right now here is the tricky part which you need to think that how this is actually helping you you have two numbers right so you have the contest id and the rank right we created now if the contest id is increasing uh, consecutively right so it is consecutive in nature that is plus one plus one right so if you have taking numbers which also increases plus one plus one the difference between two numbers is always going to be constant right if you do 190 minus 1 it is going to be 189 191 minus 2 189 192 minus 3 189 right so what does this prove that these are consecutives right so now if you do in the second one right so here, this can also be stored in a common table expression let's say 2 and now if you do group by the user right group by the user and the difference of contest id and rank right and then only keep those values where 
द काउंट इज एट लीस्ट थ्री और मोर राइट सो हाउ विल दिस यू नो एलिमिनेट दिस बट कीप टू राइट इफ यू लुक एट इट इट विल से ओके यूजर आई डी वन राइट सो ग्रुप्ड बाय यूजर एंड देन सो ओके दिस फोर कम्स इन वन ग्रुप राइट नाउ देन वी आर डूइंग दैट ओके कंटेस्ट आई डी माइनस रैंक सो इट विल से ओके वन नाइनटी माइनस वन इट इज वन एटी नाइन वन नाइनटी थ्री माइनस टू इज वन नाइनटी वन राइट सो वन एटी नाइन इज वन ग्रुप वन नाइनटी वन इज वन ग्रुप वन नाइनटी टू इज वन ग्रुप and then 192 is another group so basically it will have user id 1 189 then user id 1 191 user id 1 192 two values right that is going to be the count star of it so obviously we are keeping only those values where the count star is at least 3 right so 1 will be eliminated out of it for 2 it will say okay difference is 189 189 189 so it will keep this right however here the difference is now going to be 190 right so 190 190 190 again a group where you know at least 3 are there so it will keep to similarly for 3 it will say okay 190 190 190 right so another user 3 and 3 or more in that particular group right so it will keep 3 as well 4 it will ignore right 5 it will keep again right so that is how this is going to work out and this is the way that you can you know make sure that we only keep those users who have won any medal in 3 or more consecutive contest and by doing this right you can basically write a code that is highly generalized so what we can do is we can store this and thing in another common table expression let's write it as cte2 and then this entire thing goes into parentheses right so this goes into parentheses and now what i am saying is from this common table expression 2 let cte2 let's group by right so let's group by this user and contest id minus rank right so group by this and then you are only going to keep those rows that is and since we we need to filter by an aggregate value right so we don't need to use where here we need to use having so we write having count star greater than equal to 3 right and if you then return the users right so it will return all the users who have at least three or more values in their group right so let me run this let's see what we are getting so if you look at it right in the user we have 2 2 3 and 5 right so since why 2 is twice because we saw that you know two different groups user id 2 had three or more values in it right so now we have this and we have you know got all the users who won any medal in three or more consecutive contests right now once we have this then we also need to keep all the users who have won gold medal in three or more different contest no matter whether they were consecutive or not right so we need to do union right so we write union and then how can we get that so second condition is very easy so from this table called contests right from this table called contest if you just group by the gold medal right so if you write group by the gold medal right keep only those values right so having again count star greater than equal to 3 right and return those right so return those gold medals right return those gold medal basically these are the user ids right so if you return this then either this is satisfied or this is satisfied right let me run this let's see what we are getting okay so in the output that we have now is 2 3 5 and 1 right so now we have all the user ids with either satisfied this condition or this condition right but this is not our output right our output is for all these users we need to find out their name and mail right so which is very simple right that what we can do is we can again store this in another common table expression that cte 3 as and this entire thing again goes into parentheses right and then what we can do is 
from this table CTE3, right? So from this CTE3, we can left join the users table. You can also use inner join, right? To keep only those rows where the values are present in both the users table and the CTE tree. I'm using left join, right? You can do the inner join as well. Does not matter. Alias as you, right? Alias as you on CTE dot user is equal to you dot user ID, right? And once you join it, right? So two, three, five, one, then two. Okay. So it will join to this row. You need to keep basically the name and the mail, right? So you write return you dot name and you dot mail, right? And since we don't need to order this by anything, so I think this looks good. So yeah, this is accepted. If we look at the output, our output is exactly same as expected output, right? So yeah, this is good. Let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases. So yeah, this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it. Again, yeah, it is somewhat tricky because, you know, first thing that we need to do is, you know, you need to convert this entire condensed information into long form and then you need to, you know, rank it using row number but also can you tell me why we cannot use rank or dense rank here and if i do use that what is the change that i need to apply you know in this logic so once we rank that then you know we understood the math behind you know using user and contest id minus rank and how it is basically helping you right so once you have this then you you know only kept those values where count star is greater than or equal to three so this satisfied this part satisfied this this first condition this uh, second part satisfied the second condition and we got all the users with either satisfied one or two and then for those users we found out their name and mail so yeah, this is how we do it. Let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below. And until then, I will see you guys in the next video.